Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Qtree to manage the bandwidth of your guest users. So the first thing that you need to do is to know the IP address of that network, which is the guest users network. So go to IP and address it. And uh, my guest users um, network is 10.10.10.0. Slash 24, that is the network for my guest users. So I'm going to create um, some an address list, uh, some manga rules, and some queue trees for this network. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over here. So I'm going to go to IP firewall and uh, I'm going to go to address list and I'm going to create a new address list so the address list that I'm going to create is for the guest users network so I'm what I'm going to do is look at the the pool the address pool for that um, network so I'm going to just copy the address from it I'm going to create call this guest users and this is the address, the, all the addresses for the IP addresses for the guest users. Now I'm going to go to Mongol and I'm going to create some Mongol rules. So the first one that I'm going to create is in the forward chain. That is every, any traffic that is passing through the router that is on the way um, going out. We're going to mark all these traffic and we're going to mark the connection. So anything that is going passing through the router I'm going to mark those I'm going to just call this all dash connection so this really this is a shortening for all connections you can give it any name that you want and okay next I'm going to create another rule in the forward chain and this would be anything that is this is for downloads so anything that is destined to destined to this IP range which is the guest users I'm going to and the connection mark is all connection or all con I'm going to mark those packets I'm going to call this um, guest download packets And untick pass through. Okay, so these are this is download for the guest. Next, same forward chain. And the first one, the first, the first um, rule that was created was for destination. So this one is going to be for the source, which is this would be upload. So source mean. The traffic is coming from the client to the web so this will be upload this is be this will be upload traffic so i'm going to use about the same connection mark with the action i'm going to mark the packets i'm going to call this um guess up con i'm going to uncheck pass through All right, so oh, this is supposed to be packet. Sorry, so this is supposed to be packets. All right, so these are just the markings that we're going to use. So this will mark any traffic that is coming through the guest network. Now I'm going to create some queues, um, which is Q3 for this. So queues and Q3. And now I'm going to create a new queue. I'm going to call this um, say total. So say for instance, this is a this queue is going to be the one that which is the total bandwidth for all of those all the guest users. And say for instance the total bandwidth is say 
10 10 meg okay and uh, we're going to create another queue call this guess download and the marking we're going to the pocket mark or the parent first of all will be total which is this and the pocket mark would be guess download and we can set a limit so say we have a limit for download which is say 9 meg okay I'm going to create one for upload and the parent is total and the mark is going to be guess up and the max is say one one meg up so this is a queue alright so with this queue all the users will be able to reach a maximum upload speed of one megabit per second and they will be able to reach a nine megabits per second download speed so the total value of the queue would be if you add both up and down you will get 10 megabits so that's why i set the the total bandwidth to be 10 and but if you wanted to limit each user so this is the first this is just one that will allow if it if there's just one guest user the guest user will get the full nine megabits but say for instance you didn't want one user to be able to ask to use so much bandwidth you could actually limit them to even less per user so let us then i'm going to show you how to do that but first i'm just going to test the queue and to see that just to ensure that it is working i'm going to go on youtube and now you are seeing where it, it is just one user right now and this user is able to use the entire bandwidth so if that is what you want you can leave it as is the other way in which to limit the user is you could actually go to queue type and say for instance I've already started creating some queue I'm going to just remove this so say for instance you want to limit each user to a certain bandwidth you could make a copy of say the default download PCQ default download default you could make a copy of this and call this um, guess so you can call this PCQ guess download and the rate say we want to give each user a maximum of two megabits per second download speed so we'll set the rate right here okay and if we want to do the same for upload I'm just going to copy this so I don't have to type it over I'm going to make a copy of the upload I'm going to call this um, so PCQ guess upload and say each user I'm not going to give them more than say 512 um, kilobits per second upload okay so these are two PCQs that we have created for the guest users now I'm now you're going to apply them to the rules or the Q3 rules that you have created so this is the download so what we're going to use is the Q type I'm going to select the Q type that we just created which is PCQ guest download so this will limit each user to 2 megabits per second a matter of fact what I could do is say uh, I could actually put the value here um, 2m so at least you'll by looking at it you'll remember what it is and call this um, give this 5 512k all right let's just go back to the queue tree so the queue type is um, PCQ guest download which is for two, which is two meg and uh, the upload 
we're going to use PCQ guess upload which is 512k so each user will not be able to download no more than 2 megabits per second even if no one else is actually is using the internet at the time so I'm going to do another test alright I'm loading on our next video so you notice now the user is not the one user that is connected is not using any more than 2 megabits per second so we have created a hard limit for that user and that will help you to manage your bandwidth that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching